right click and replace with code that does nothing. So that will put um, uh, 0 times 90 there, which is a nope, um, which will is it stands for no operation. That will mean don't do anything, don't even try and decrement the ammo. So as you can see, we have unlimited ammo. And unlike just freezing your cheat engine where the ammo still comes down but it gets put back up, here it doesn't do absolutely anything to the ammo. So that's what we're trying to do here. Um, except we'll, we'll make an increment instead of decrement or, or uh, no operation. So right click and restore original code. That's what we want. And what we're going to do now is we're going to, uh, so we've done that, we've got limited ammo. We're going to get the signature that we're going to be using for the scan. So, so far, really straightforward stuff. Sorry if I'm going a bit too fast. Feel free to go back a little bit. It's just because this is uh, stuff that we've done before quite a few times. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to attach cheat engine onto another process. So open a notepad file first. Move it over here. So now this is what we want to do. So right click, go to address and copy that. So that's the one that we're going to go after in uh, Oli Debug. So that's there. It's fine. Uh, close that for now if you'd like. And that as well. Now... To attach all the debug, you have to attach this to something else temporarily. So I'm going to choose Google Chrome. You can ch attach it to anything. It, we're not going to do anything. So yes, keep address list. We don't care. So now I'm going to run. Where's all the debug? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Fuck's sake. All right, I'm going to run all the debug from my thingy. So make sure you run your own version of Oli. Um, let's move that over there. Uh, as usual, file, attach. And we're going to attach that to AC client. Uh, assault cube, attach that, so that should be fine. If you left cheat engine attached, then we probably get an error, which means either close cheat engine or um, de attach it to something else. So first thing you want to do is usually just click play. Um, you want to go now. We press Control G or C trail and something. I don't even know where it is. Oh, there it is expression, and paste that thing we copied earlier. So that's the value that we've put here, and we're going to go there. And generally, always do that twice to make sure you get the right one because it seems to be a bit strange. Now, please ignore these here. These are just for my notes that I did earlier, uh, but I'll explain everything as we're doing it. So, so ignore the game for now. Um, what we have here is we have uh, we have this instruction here. Now, this is the one that decrements our. Uh, this is a bit tricky for you to see because I can't really zoom in. Um, let me think. Yeah, that's fine. So. Um, I recommend maximizing the video if you're having trouble seeing this. But here, basically, you have decrement, which is our instruction. Now, we need to get a signature scan. And a signature scan, if you're not familiar with it, please, please watch my previous tutorial. Because otherwise, um, you'll forget it. And, um, well, you won't know what you're doing, basically. Fuck knows what happened there, by the way. My screen just flashed. Um, still recording. That's good. Yeah, so, um, as you can see, here it here is the, um, the address. And if we went... Uh, and did assemb not assemble binary fill with nobs. We do the same as before, uh, which would stop our arm from coming down. So, but what we're going to do instead is going to select a couple of these, make signature. So please make sure you have the signature scanning plugin installed. So again, previous tutorial I showed you how to do that. It's called Six Scan, and it it looks like uh, sorry, that's it. Look online for SigMaker version zero point. Uh, four and it comes with a DLL. Just drop that DLL in your uh, Oli Debug folder, and the, you'll have the plugin automatically. So right click, and then you see Make Sig, and you want to go Test Sig. And what we're going to do is generate a signature scan now. Now you do that, and it gives you two results. And as I said on the previous tutorial, we only want one. So we could spend ages doing this, or I could just show you what it is, uh, or you could you can mess around with it until you have just one result. But this is how I do it. Um, I went back because. Uh, it was taking up a lot of instructions just to get one result. So I went back a couple of addresses, tried that, make SIG, test SIG, and scan. And that's why I've started in there. Just skip some aspects of this part because I don't want to tell you guys the same things over and over again. So we scan and we have this. So what we're going to do now is we want to store those addresses. Uh, so we want to store the signature pattern. And we know that if we search for these with our function, uh, we're going to get this place in memory so you the game can restart as many times as it like uh, but the the signature will always be the same uh, so we that's how we can always find it because we only have one result it'll always take us to here what that means now because our instruction is here it means yes we we start here but then we'll add a little bit so that we get to the bit that we want so I'll have to add uh, five bytes 
to get to that one. As you can see, if you do this number minus that one, you'll get five. Um, and that's fine. That's what we're looking for. So um, we store the signature and the mask. That's what we wanted. Um, what we need to do now is, uh, if you have the detach plugin, um, what's it called? Detach plugin. Um, well, detach plugin. That's what it's called. You can detach from the game and uh, attach uh, um, cheat engine again, which will work. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to. Uh, what have I done? What have I done? Have I forgotten something? No, I haven't. So what I recommend you do now, so we get the next address, is close Ollie Debug, which will also close the Soul Cube. But don't worry about that. We'll start again from from that for that second part. Okay. So the reason why we closed that was because um, we need to, as we played around with closing Cheat Engine, attaching Ollie Debug. Um, this way, because we now need to attach Cheat Engine to the game again, uh, that wouldn't have worked unless you either a detached Oli Debug or closed it. So um, I recommend you get the detached plugin for Oli Debug. Just look for it online, you'll find it. So run the Salt Cube again. Now, because we're doing something else this time, it really doesn't matter because we've got to start searching from scratch anyway. It really doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't have to be the old uh, version again anymore. So um, now that we have a new game, everything's uh, back pretty much reset really. So as you can see, that thing has changed, etc. So what we're going to do now is we're going to find the y-axis and we're going to work with it. So um, I'm just going to move on to fi finding that. So first thing I'd say is find a high point where you have a ladder, for example. So let's have a look for that. So that's the high point there, but there's no ladder. I generally just like a ladder that makes it makes my life easy, really. Um, I think there's one here. Yeah, this is it. Perfect. All right, so if we go here, start from here. This is just basic um, finding uh, the Y position of the player. So new scan, you want to go for a non-initial. Click float first and then a non-initial value. It's, oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry, select the game again. I had Google Chrome for some reason. There it is, AC client, uh, no, whatever. So, float and an initial value. Alright, this one will take a little bit of time, but that's just how it is. So, go up on the ladder, look for increased value. Uh, look quickly for unchanged, just to get rid of a few extra ones. Now, go back down and look for decreased value. Go up a little bit. <laughs> increased. Go up a little bit more. Increased again. Go up a little bit more. Increased value again. So that way we're going through more values at once. So decrease value again. 13,000. Now look for unchanged value a bunch of times. Alright, that's not good enough. So increased value again. I'm just going to push this. Uh, Go up a little bit more, increase value again, a little bit more, increase again, a little bit more. So as you can see, this one's a bit more troublesome than when looking for, um, so again, look for increase, that's it. Now come back down to here, do the same thing again. All right, that's it, so look for decrease value. So yeah, as I said, this is a bit more tricky than the ammo one. Decrease value again, and decrease value again. Now we've got a series of results. Now from my experience, it depends on the map, but I'm just going to guess. If you get it wrong, it doesn't matter. We can get the, the other one. So let's look. I'm going to go for this one because, <coughs> excuse me, on my previous ones, it seems to be around 3.5 generally. <coughs> so the way you normally discover it is by trying to go up um, or down after locking your position. Now obviously that one isn't it. could be this one. I've locked my position again. Try and jump up, it jumps normally, so that's not it. Um, try this one again. Nope, that's not it. Uh, try this one. Nope, and no luck on that one. And no luck there either, that's quite strange. Hmm, should have been one of these really. Um, Um, yeah, so if I go up again, look for increased value, may have somehow skipped it, but I don't see that being the case. Um, <clears throat> 
12.5. I'm just going to try all of these at once. I'm sure I've covered all of them. There you go, I found them. It's one of these here. I'm just trying to... I must have missed that one. Yep, still one of those. Yep, still sort of locking. So as you can see, it's this one. There you go, that's the one. So, select all of them except that one, get rid of them. So that's the one we're looking for. As, as you can see, if you try and jump, it brings you right back down. So another way to confirm this is by simply going, we have three as our current work axis, let's put 15 in there. Boom, as you can see, we go up and then come down again. So that's the thing we're looking for, the beautiful uh, Y position. So normally in memory, if you go and scan for it, you'll find the X and Z also nearby in most games. Uh, which would allow you to work on, let's say, a aimbot or a telekill, anything like that, but we'll leave that for the other uh, tutorials. So once we've got this, we want to go find what access is this address. Now the previous one, we did find what writes to it because we wanted to move or change what happens once you write to the, the address. What we're going to do is find what access is it to give us so, so that we can pull the Y axis, uh, the Y position, I'm going to stop calling it axis, because I think that's one we're dealing with, uh, the mouse and so on, but it's still kind of correct. So, yes, what axis is, and we want to go yes to the attach. So, what we want to do is, first of all, we want to just go with the top one, that's the one I use. You can use any of them, really, because they all have, as you can see, they all have ESI plus 3C, ESI plus 3C, whatever. And all this means is, EX would also work, all this means is, the address is stored or should I say the address is equal to ESI plus 3C um, so that's what accesses our um, our uh, Y axis, our Y position so click show disassembler and you'll get to this now here's where we're storing our, um, our Y position right there so what we want to do is we want to say move this, this value because that has the address in memory where that's stored move that value into my variable so that I can change it myself so we have this here and we want to go do just the same as before we want to go go to address click that let's find copy that and I'm going to do that in the next section now ignore that's the ammo and then we just give it a little label that'll make things easier ammo and this is flying <clears throat> And that's great, 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 great. Um, yep, I'm happy with that. So what we want to do is, same as before, close cheat engine if you like, up to you. I'm just going to attach it to something else. Uh, I'm going to attach it to Google Chrome. I always attach it to Google Chrome, it's fine. And then we want to go, I want to run Ollie. So I'm going to run my version of Ollie. Boom, file, attach. And you want to attach to AC client again. There it is. And let it attach. A quick drink. Um, okay, so you want to click play here, just resume the game as usual. Now we want to use that address as before, so press CTRLG or right click and uh, go to expression. Boom, paste the new one, do it twice as usual just to get the right address. And here's where we are. So again, I've labeled start and end just so we have our signatures. This is something I've covered before and we don't need to go over it again on this one. So here's what we want. So just to let you know, this is quite a because the Soul Cube is such a small game, you'll be able to do signature scans of just a few bytes. Uh, with bigger games, you may need to go, um, I don't know, 12, 14 plus bytes. It's really about playing around with things, and it, it depends on a lot of factors, but just playing around with it until you get just one value. So you do that, boom, we want to do that. Oh, we only have one result, brilliant. That means that's our second one, because we're trying to create our jump right here. Okay, so. So flying, we're going to go, here's my signature, and here's my mask. It's a Batman mask, in case you guys are wondering. Okay, so close that. We are happy with that, and let's have a think. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We've done all our searching now. We've got everything that we want uh, to, to create our hack, basically. So uh, feel free to close. Actually, I'm just going to detach all the debug. You guys can... I'm going to close it. It kills the game as well. So close cheat or minimize cheat engine for now. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to run the game. And now we're just going to ignore it for a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by doing a... Uh, can I minimize the game? That's strange. So I'm going to start off by creating our project. 
So, I'm using Visual Studio 2012. You guys can use whatever version you like, as long as it's got C++ and you can create DLLs in it. So you're gonna go new, 